So here are some patterns for the 10 LED bar that's in your kit. And so I'm going to see, I'm going to make some patterns for you and you can try to mimic these or you can create some of your own. But these are just some examples. And what I have here is I've got the actual device set up. And if you don't have that device at home, you can use Tinkercad um, to, to, to code this in. So um, you can actually get to my Tinkercad and use it if you'd like to. You just log into Tinkercad. You could do a search either for my name, search under people, and then you need to hmm, go to circuits. And let me just move this out of the way. You can see there's my 10 LED array template. You can click on that and write code yourself on top of that. This, this is my uh, finished product, and this is the one that's kind of empty. You could also just do a search for, um, let's see here, 10 LED array template. Do a search under circuits. There's several that pop up, but um, down here you'll find mine somewhere. There it is, right there. Okay, either way, you can get to it. All right, so let's take a look at the array. I'm going to pause and set up my windows again. All right, so if you have Tinkercad, you can, you can, um, Get that going, and this is an example. Um, well, this is part of an example here. So here I've turned all the LEDs on, and then they all go off. So if I start the simulation, you can see here that the Tinkercad and the real world are similar. They're, the timing is off a little bit online, uh, but they they do essentially the same job. So I've got I show you what all on does, and notice that the that the setup function uses a for loop to put all 10 pins in the right pin mode, and this all on uses a for loop to, to send every pin high. And I call all on, and it stays on for one second. And what I don't show you is the all off command, all right, or the all off function. So that's hidden down here, and you can write that yourself. All right, so this is the first pattern, or the first set, set of patterns. So I'm gonna pause and show you another pattern. So here I've made two functions called wipe right on and wipe right, sorry, wipe left on. So it wipes to the right, turning them all on, and then wipes to the left, turning them all on. Notice there's the all off command called in between. So the real world and the think that world. All right, so here's a, I'm going to pause and show you another pattern. So this next simulation wipes to the right, turning on each LED, and then wipes backwards, turning them off again. All right, here's the next pattern. And here it goes left on, and then it wipes backwards right off. So left on. Right off. These are just examples again of patterns you can do. Choose your own patterns. I mended mine. All right, here's the next pattern. The variation of the theme here wipes on to the right and then follows right behind, turning them all off again. Symmetry here, it wipes to the left, turns them on, and then wipes to the left, turns them off. Like crazy. All right, let's try something different. Okay. Here's something I call flash left, flash right, and so it flashes on one at a time to the right, and then it flashes on one at a time to the left. Again, we're just using some variation of a for loop and some digital rights, highs and lows with delays. See if you can't mimic these or create your own pattern. So here's one called odd even blink. It turns on the odd 
numbered LEDs and then turns on the even number LEDs. There's an on time for each and there's an off time for each. For example, we can take this off time down to zero and see what that looks like. I'll do the same for my Arduino code. So it has just a bit of a difference. Okay. Anyway, so that's one pattern. So fans of Battlestar Galactica may appreciate or recognize this. This is the Cylon I. And it turns on three LEDs at a time. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Um, you, you see here that the LEDs start at 2 and go up to 11. Right? Those, these are the pin numbers. And the hint is I'm actually turning on 0 and 1 when it goes off the screen. But there is no LED on 0 and 1. It's just fine. It just doesn't do anything. And then over here, I'm also turning on 12 and 13, but it's off the, off the screen as well. But that's why one of them stays on and two of them kind of pop off. So um, this is a bit more challenging. Um, I will tell you, I'm, I'm using one loop, and I'm turning on three LEDs at a time. And then I'm turning off three LEDs at a time. So there's your hint there for the side on line. And, of course, you can speed it up, make it go... Make it go faster if you want. Let's see what it looks like if you go 50. It may not show up very well on the Tinkercad. The delays on Tinkercad aren't great. Let's see if it shows up in the video in the real time. Yeah. It's just not as easy to see. I'll slow it way down. I'll make it be 550 so you can see it. see what's happening. All right, there's one more one more pattern. I'll pause and start that up again. Okay, the last pattern is called crisscross and I turn two LEDs on at a time and they scroll left and one scrolls right and they cross, cross here in the middle. You can see, see what's happening. So this again is, is not, um, you have to use a little bit of mathematics um, to figure it out. What I would do is I would just make one LED do, do, you know, move it to the right and then see if you can use the counter for that one LED that's moving left and right and see if you can't mathematically come up with a, an equation or an algorithm to move the other LED uh, automatically. So again, it's one loop that moves it left and one loop. Uh, one, one loop that moves it to the right, um, but um, I've got a, I've got a little mathematical, little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of math there that makes the second LED do uh, a mirror image of what the first LED is doing. Okay, so you don't have to do any or, or all of these at all. Make up your own uh, and just have some fun with it. All right, and. You'll see that one pattern, you'll get it, you'll, you'll make a pattern by mistake. Uh, that's perfect. Serendipity is great. All right? And then your one pattern will lead to another pattern will lead to another. Anyway, hope you have some fun with this.